guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my current favorite foundation routine for summertime that just gives you that really dewy, fresh look to your face. Also, if you're new, I am collecting pictures of all of you guys' pets so I can hang them on my wall. I love to receive mail and I would love to hear from you guys and also so I can write you back. I will have the P.O. box listed down below if you're interested in sending me any pictures. If you want to see my current foundation routine, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do before I apply any makeup to my face is I'm going to wash my face and then also apply a moisturizer. The moisturizer that I use is a very lightweight moisturizer. You don't want anything like thick and oily and greasy on your face if you're going to be wearing it throughout the day. Those types of moisturizers I do apply, but I just apply them at night. If your moisturizer is too thick, then it's just going to slide everywhere and not stay in place throughout the day. So that's why you want a lighter moisturizer. But the moisturizer is just going to keep your skin looking hydrated and plump and you won't have any dry, crusty places on your face, which your foundation will stick to and look disgusting. <laughs> I do switch up these products a lot, especially during the summer and winter times. These products are going to be more for like a dewy, glowy finish because that's what we want during the summer. So if you have extremely oily skin, then this routine is probably not going to work for you. However, if you have combination to normal type skin, which is what I have, then I hope you enjoyed this foundation routine and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm actually going to be using two different primers, which is totally extra, but this is what I love to do during the summer. Summer. The first one is going to be this Becca First Light Priming Filter in this purpley color. It is going to give my skin that healthy glow from within look. I'm just applying that to this area because my forehead does have a tendency to get slightly oily throughout the day so I'm going to use a different primer for that area. So for my forehead I am going to be using this Kane and Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. This primer is going to suck the oil from your skin. I don't know how it works or how it does it, but I'm going to apply just a tiny bit to my forehead. If you get oily on your chin or on your T-zone, you can also apply it there as well. So I'm just going to apply this right here because that is where I get ridiculously oily. And as you can see, it really mattified that area. I've really been loving this foundation. It is the number seven Lift and Illuminate. This is a drugstore foundation. I got it at Target. And my favorite way to apply foundation is with a beauty blender. This is the original beauty blender, but I also love the L'Oreal Beauty Blender from the drugstore. They are just as bouncy. This is just the one that I grabbed first. If you want a drugstore option, that one is fabulous. So the reason why I love to apply my foundation with a beauty blender is because it really gives your face that flawless finish, but also if you apply too much foundation, the dampness of it is going to pick up the excess. This is a medium coverage dewy foundation, so I am going to have to go in and conceal a couple little dark spots of these acne scars that I have. Next, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just going to use a tiny bit underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to grab my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the color Light. And I'm just going to use that to spot correct these acne scars. The reason that I switched concealers is because this one is obviously lighter. And this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is closer to my skin tone. So you don't want to use a lighter concealer on your blemish because that's just going to bring more attention to the blemish. And then I'm just going to take that and lightly kind of dab and roll to make it disappear. And then I am going to bring that concealer up onto my eyelids. And when you're choosing a concealer, you do want to use a concealer that is a couple shades lighter than your natural skin tone because that's just going to bring light to your under eyes, making you look more awake. Because you can see the difference from here and here where I haven't blended it out yet. And when you're blending out your concealer, you don't want to rub 
you can see that I am pressing that into my skin and I'm dabbing it back and forth. And that's just gonna blend it out and also so it does not settle into your fine lines. Okay, now that my foundation and concealer is applied, I am gonna go ahead and set it with some powder. I like to use the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm gonna use that to set underneath my under eyes. I'm just gonna take some of this powder and I'm going to get just a little bit on my beauty blender and I'm just gonna dab that underneath my under eyes and everywhere that I applied that concealer. So I am gonna bring it down just a little bit and I'm just gonna press that underneath my eyes to set that concealer. So this, what this is gonna do is keep that concealer in place and also so it does not crease underneath your under eyes. If you are oily, I do recommend that you use the Laura Mercier powder instead of the RCMA one because this will keep you matte throughout the day and it will not let that oil come through at all. All right, and for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use, uh, oh my goodness, excuse me. And for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm just gonna use this with this Real Techniques powder brush and I'm just gonna set everywhere else that I didn't press that translucent powder into. And that's just gonna ensure that the rest of my foundation stays in place. I'm also about to go in and use a powder bronzer, blush, and highlight, and you want to set your face with a powder before you put more powder on top of it. Otherwise, it'll look really patchy and it'll move that foundation around. So you wanna make sure that you have a nice powdery base before you add more powder onto your face that makes sense. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.